if I was a caterpillar and you were a caterpillar, I would metamorphosize into a butterfly so that you could see the vast potential of your great beauty. And then you would change. And we would have changed. And it would be beautiful. Change is beautiful. Change is beautiful. He's absolutely beautiful. Well, uh, I'm here for my monthly check-in. I am alive, as you can see, on my own channel. It's a real channel, and you're here, most likely. Uh, for proof of life, there's my proof right there. I'm here. I look a little old. Ugh. You'll have to forgive me. I have a slight cold today. Got it from my my youngest child. But we'll see. I might forgive him for it. We'll see. See how bad this cold gets. Um, yeah. We'll see. Hope everybody's doing well. I'm going to put out on Twitter that I'm actually live. See if that's something I can promote. I don't even know how to do this anymore. I should probably stream like every day, right? Every day? Who the heck knows anymore? Uh, let's see. I just need to go to my channel and do it. I've got a couple of things I want to talk about today. Nothing big. I um, want to give some updates on the campaign and talk about a couple of other books. And I think you guys should take a look at. Uh, before I get to that, however, I want to say hello to the chat, which right now is just Micra, but it's good to see you. Hey, yo, Eric. Hey, yo, Micra. Micra, Micra. I don't know how long I'm going to be able to do this. I haven't talked much today, and my throat is on fire. I just had some green tea and honey, uh, but it didn't seem to, it doesn't seem very long lasting, unfortunately. So I don't know what to do about that. Micra, Scottish last name. I should probably shouldn't even attempt an accent. I can blame it on the cold. I feel like I don't sound stuffed up, but I, I am. Like not stuffed, but I have. It's just not. I'm just dealing. I'm dealing with something right now. Okay. So uh, yeah, a couple of things I want to talk about, uh, and hopefully. Uh, we can go through it together. Here in the steadfast, hail Chad, hail here. It's good to see you, Jolly Green. Hello, hello, ahoy, hello, hello. Welcome. I am alive. Believe it or not, I do stream, but it's usually not live. I usually just chat with friends behind the scenes. Those aren't recorded. Those aren't streams to the internet. Uh, how about that? So uh, I'm glad you're catching this one live. It's good to be. It's good to be there. Sumo, sumo, sumo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Eric looks so sad. I do kind of look sad. I'm brighten up my day. I need some caffeine. <clears throat> those aren't recorded that you know of there's like a secret there's a secret uh, stash of videos of the of the behind the behind the curtain videos that somebody has secretly been recording i don't want to know i don't want to know at all michael dici good to see you got more time to catch streams now left my corporate engineering career today back to the arts for me hey congrats man that's amazing. Good for you. Leaving that corporate lifestyle, that corporate grind. It's inspiring. Uh, I hope, I want everybody to be able to leave, unless you want to be there. Some people like that corporate lifestyle. Some people, it just sucks their soul and destroys them from the inside. That's what it does to me. 
I realize, I realize, uh, I'm not, I'm not meant for that, for that life. I'm not meant for that world. Uh, the nine to five, get up, get dressed, put on a tie, put on a collared shirt and nice shoes, get in a car, drive 20 minutes, lunch break. Not for me. I did it. I did it a long time ago. I'd rather work from home in my flip flops that I wear socks with because I'm a dad. That's what we do. Gate kept. Bancroft must have put you up to this. Well, secret streams behind the scenes. You know what I'm talking about? Gate keep Bancroft. I will do it. Is he supposed to be on right now? I don't know. I'm not paying attention. I'm just guy going live on YouTube, just living life, you know? Some people don't understand that life. Some people don't understand what it means. What it's like to be me. You just don't get it. It's all right. I'll teach you. You just have to observe, you know, just pay attention. Open your eyes. You'll know what it's like to be me. Comic book letterer, comic skate extraordinaire, uh, master of letters with uh, way overexposure on the left side of his face over here from the window right next to me. That's me. Pale. That is the palest of horses. Uh, that's me. Uh, lifestyle depends on the people you're working with, whether it sucks. That's true. Uh, you could work the, I would say the job doesn't matter if the people you're working with are rock stars, the people you're working with are awesome or fun to hang around. It wouldn't matter if you're digging ditches or I don't know, throwing Frisbees, whatever those folks do for a living. CG litter man. That's me. Why does the camera look weird? Is this a cutscene from an FMB 90s video game? Ouch. I could, uh, it's lighting. That's the problem. And I don't have any sort of filters or anything going on. And this is all me and pure pale me. This is what you get. So enjoy. Dale A, if that is your real full name, it's probably not your full name. Not that I would. Not that I would guess. I do look. Look how sad I look. Hmm. For me. Almost translucent. Uh, you know, a, a couple more trips around the sun, away from the sun, and you'll be able to see straight through my pores. I keep waiting for Eric to turn the camera on, turn the camera and yell, Sega! Man, I remember those days. I was a Sega kid. I still kind of am, even though I don't own a Sega anymore. But in my heart of hearts, I'm a Sega kid. <laughs> I had a buddy who had the Sega TV. That was like Xbox Game Pass, but for Sega Genesis in like, you know, 1996 or whatever. So, <clears throat> here you go. I just tell people I worked hard on my moon tan. Ooh, I like that. Moon tan. Welcome to the next level. Oh, I don't know if I can do that anymore. <sighs> Survive infinity. Yo. Yo, yo, yo. Will it help if I, like, hide my face? You guys have to look at this. You have to look at me. And I apologize profusely. Um, I don't know how I can make it up to you, except to just offer my... Condolences. You're in my thoughts and prayers. You could, you know, you could turn the video and just open up a different tab and surf the internet and just listen. I know that my voice isn't much better, but, um, you know, it's at least 50% better if you're just listening and not having to listen and look at the same time. So, R.T. Bear, a face only a mother could love. But whose mother is the question? Certainly wasn't mine. I think. Could be wrong. I'm going to get a phone call here soon. Uh, yeah, yeah. Let me show you what I'm working on right now. 
See if I remember how to do this. I know how to stream, don't I? I know how to stream. I know how to how to command the ship. Let me close that little thing on there. Bam. All right. Um, are you the only one who's hearing something in the background? You know what you're probably hearing, and I don't know why it's not blocking it out. My Cintiq fan is ramping up. It gets high right now, and then it goes down, and it goes up, and it goes down. Um, I had turned it off, but I think it's making it um, die. So I uh, – yeah, that's the fan in, in my in my Cintiq screen. So that's got to be what that is. Um, so I apologize. There's nothing I can do about it. I mean, I can turn it off, but it's, it, I had to go into the settings, and it will probably make the stream hiccup, and <laughs> Lord knows we can't have that happen. No, it's not in your head. Um, although I could have played that joke on you, and everybody would have played along, and you would have thought you were going crazy. But uh, no, I failed, and I'm ashamed of myself. <clears throat> Mo Biggs knows what's up. Battlebrickroad.com. That's what we're looking at right now. Battlebrick Road 2. I've got 24 pages left to draw. It's a lot. But it's also not a lot. We're, we're well over the halfway point. Um, looking at the, the light at the end of the tunnel, it actually could have been 19 pages left. But you know me, I got I to gotta add stuff. So I added some stuff. Five pages. Two it, up front, and then three, we're, we're adding a small little epilogue at the end. It's going to tie into a little bit more. We're going to pull on the strings into Battlebrick Road 3. Uh, and, I, and I was like, we got to We got to do this specific thing. We need to tease this. So we're going to pull on that thread <clears throat> uh, with a little three-page epilogue. And I'm excited to get to that. But, uh, you know, 20, like I said, 24 pages. I'm inking one right now. I'm almost done with it. I redrew the last panel. <laughs> Because it didn't make sense with the follow-up page. So I had to go back and fix it. Because I was totally paying attention. Uh, Leroy is here. It's good to see you, my man. It's good to see you around again. Leroy returning. Truly, this is the end times. I don't believe that. But, uh, you know, you do you, I suppose, Micra. So Battlebrick Road 2, 24 pages left. We are moving along with the campaign. We're trying to get everything done as soon as we can. And it's all its all on me. It's all my fault. I'm the one who's drawing it. Uh, it's All the blame is on me. And you know what? I take that. I take all that blame. Uh, here I am working. I'll show you. Working hard every day. And uh, ugh, drawing these, this comic book for you. Okay, this is going to. Not really show up very well, but there, there's a page right there, a little bit of teasy, teasy tease, I guess. Um, here's the first batch. Some of these pages aren't even, the pencils won't even show up very well, but here's chapter four, the first uh, 15, 14, 14 or so pages. Right in there, they're in there. You just can't see them, but they're in there. I scroll up. It looks like a lot of blank stuff, but that's because my thumbnails are really light. So there you go. That's how we're doing on that. Uh, I have switched to drawing on the iPad, which has been rather, rather nice. Um, I highly, highly suggest it. Finally switched to Procreate. It took me forever to find the right brush. That's all it took was the right brush. Uh, Leroy is pestilence or famine? Hmm. That's a good question. I should put a... Put our minds together and figure that one out. It was foretold that once the swampy nethers had dried out, Leroy would return. And here he is, bog stink and all. But here he is. He's a, a, a more rare sighting than Kelsey Shannon. <clears throat> yeah, this cult's getting to me already. I don't have a lozenge or anything. No lozenges. No lozenges. Um, I wanted to point this out. I, I had some of this artwork as the as the banner 
is the thumbnail because you can tell I put a whole lot of thought into my thumbnails. Uh, the 11 by 17 print collection, we've got artwork coming in. I need to get with Dan Lawless. He's doing a piece. Uh, Irene Strakowski's doing a piece. I've seen a thumbnail sketch from Narwhal. Uh, we've got a couple pieces here. Here's one from Jose Garcia. This was the uh, uh, the thumbnail for this. So that's the whole team. Rod Looper, got to get this colored. Uh, Rod Looper with a cool movie poster style Thea Gale piece. And got to get that color. We've got colors moving on the book. And then Shelby Robertson with a Watcher of the East versus Thea Gale masterpiece, if you will. Um, the, uh, yeah, beautiful work, beautiful work. There's more coming. We're going to have 10 pieces in here and 11 by 17. You're going to take these out of the poster book and hang them on your wall or leave them in if you want. The pollen is insane. Better go get a steroid shot or you will get a sinus infection. Uh, I would rather not get a steroid shot. I don't like anything going into my body that's not food so this is a cold i got from my son he was cold he had a cold two days ago now i have it and i should be good in a couple of days um yes so that's there that's the 11 by 17 poster book the artwork's coming in for that we're going to show all i'm going to show all of it why the heck not wouldn't want to i want to entice you to pick that up it's going to be big but the way i've got shipping it didn't cost you any more because we're using ground advantage shipping and it doesn't increase the as long as it doesn't weigh more than 20 pounds, it doesn't actually increase the, the shipping price. So that is good. The $8 you pay for shipping will cover that um, for that large order. So when that comes individually, you can add it to any order that you already have. You just back it again, and uh, you can uh, you know reorder it that way. Also, it comes in these high tiers, high tier. Um, uh, the Super Fan Bundle and the I Want It All Bundle. So check those out if you want to get all of the Battle Brick Road goodness. Will you have a vinyl stamping video? If I use the same vinyl press that uh, Robert Ger Geronimo, Geronimo? I feel like I'm saying that wrong. From Blood Realm, uh, if I use it, I got the guys in, I got the, the, the company's info. I have, I'd already set up at a different place, but I'm going to see if pricing is better. It looks like turnaround time is better. Um, but it also, if it's, uh, um, I wasn't clear on, on the, the jacket and whether or not they print that there or what. So working on getting that designed while in between everything else I've got to do. <clears throat> Mo Biggs, Eric has no need for steroids. He just needs to get out of the house and absorb some good old gamma rays. I'm going to stare directly at the eclipse. And I think that should take care of everything. Just right out. It's only going to hit us like 80. We're only going to see 88% of the eclipse where I live. So if I stare directly at it, I think a good, I mean, how long is it going to be eclipsed? A good six minutes should take care of all of it, I think. Any ailments right, right into my corneas. Cornea? Is that right? I'm just going to assume it's right. Will the vinyl pressing video include a Mr. Rogers at the Crayon Factory style narration? You know what's funny about that? Uh, we did a Crown Factory, um, what's it called? Field trip when I was a kid. I think something like Salina or somewhere here in Kansas, they, and they have a, they had, I don't know if it's, it can't still be here because I haven't heard about anybody going to the Crayola Factory. There was a Crayola Factory I went to as a kid. Got to see all the colors. Got to see all of them. I stared and it eclipsed through a foil chip pack and suffered no permanent damage. I'm, I'm fine if I suffer permanent damage. It's only permanent on this side. Once I'm dead, it's not permanent anymore, you know? In raw umber. And Violet Beauregard and uh, the Secret Colors as well. I remember that. I was probably in kindergarten, maybe first or second grade. But, yeah. 
that was cool. I liked that. I want to go back there, but I think they moved to like, you know, Crayolaville, USA or something. I'm overtaken by craze art. There's something I need to figure out, by the way. Is it craze art or is it crazy art? These are the questions I need answers to because sometimes life gives us mysteries and we need to work together to figure them out as a human being, as human as the human genome, as the human race, as people together. Craze or crazy? I don't know if we'll ever crack the code, honestly. I don't know if we'll ever figure it out. That might be one of life's eternal mysteries. Uh, we also once did a six-hour round trip to view Haley's Comet, only to be able to see it better in our driveway, said Mike. Uh, yeah, I did a – I was invited to go see the Hale-Bopp Comet, but I couldn't get the right shoes. They wanted me to wear specific shoes. Didn't, uh, didn't get them in time. And then I never heard from those guys ever again. I don't know what that was about. But uh, couldn't I couldn't find them in my size, and and you know, that was kind of one of the one of the rules if I wanted to watch the Hale Bop Comet with these guys. But they were in this room where, the, like, they were in a. It was weird because they didn't even go out and look. They just took a a drink and laid down. But, but I missed out either way, so I don't know. It's always next time. Oh, next time that comes around, what is that, another seven thousand years? I'll catch it on the next one. Catch it on the next one. Mo Big says, definitely crazy. The capital Z is for additional street kids since they are the ghetto crowns. The cr crayons. Crayons. They aren't crayons. They're crowns. <laughs> crowns. Uh, our boy Donald DeLay got Jaeger bomb going right here. 200. I didn't hit refresh. 200 and. Six backers, uh, $484, $4,849. Um, he's almost at his goal. I think he'll get there. 96% of the way, 30 days left, unless nobody else at all ever in the history of time backs it. I think he'll do it. I think Jagerbaum will make it happen. I think I think uh, we'll, we'll make it. We'll get there. You and me together will do it. Uh, Eric, you missed out on more than you think. They weren't watching the comet. They were on a, going on a field trip to the comet. Man, I missed out. The best I've ever done is the is the planetarium. I've never been to a comet. Man, I really missed out. That's really unfortunate. Next comet, I'm going to get those shoes, and they're going to let me in their little club. They're going to do it. I just know it. Jaeger bomb uh, by Donald Delay and uh, Frost. That, I think that's the girl from G four, right? I forget her name, but I think Donald's doing a book with uh, the G four lady that yelled at us for being uh, gamers, and then that guy that was embezzling the the money from the charity was cheering her on with his weird pube beard. I think that's who that was. Yeah, so it's weird that Donald's working with. Uh, What's her name? But, uh, you know, good for him, I guess. It's good to see that. We can mend broken bridges. At least Donald can. I can't. No bridges mending here. I'm on a warpath. Burn every bridge possible. Not just burn it, but break it down in, into a million pieces and scatter it to the wind. Like the CIA. Hi, I know you're listening. Um, I want to see this get funded because it's really cool and because when it does, I have a job. So it's lettered, but I'll be doing the, the file prep for it for print. So, which is really easy for me. I don't have to letter it. That's great. Uh, B.A. Turner here. Yeah, B.A. Turner is here. It's good to see you, my friend. Vigilante's Creed. I'm going to check that one out. All right. I also want to point out my other friend, Clint Downcast Stoker. That's what we call him on the streets. People thought that Downcast was just his 
comic book name, but it's actually his street name. He wears his Keds and uh, his um, polo shirts. And, you know, and they ride around on their bicycle. Clint doesn't wear a helmet because he's dangerous. Uh, Downcast Four Hunting Ground by Clint Stoker. $3,910 at 76 packs. Now, this is already... Uh, where's my mute button? I missed it. You had to hear that when I apologize. Um, he already raised a bunch of money on his own platform because that's the way we do it. Um, but uh, I thought, you know what? Let's bring it to Indiegogo. And what happened? What happened when he brought it to Indiegogo? This happened. Uh, they struck again. Shadow banned again. Can you believe it? I certainly can. Um, but that's life. That's life in these streets, these downcast streets. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Mike says, I'm catching up with Clint tomorrow. Finally. It's about time. He's been ahead of you this entire time. I'm glad to see he's catching up with you. Or you're catching up with him, rather. Mo says, Bancroft is celebrating 20K subs by essentially nuking his channel, having that bomb thrower Clint on. Oh, my gosh. Can I, I don't know what to do with I don't even want Mike in my chat right now. Can we gatekeep Mike from the chat? Is that possible? I'm here to burn bridges. That's what I'm here to do. Some people have barn burners. I have bridge burners. Speaking of burning bridges, Terror in the Trenches Volume 2, the sign-up is now live. This one I don't know a lot of people know about. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put this in the chat myself. Um, uh, a little known creator by goes by the name Von Klaus. I think I've heard of him before. Um, he's got Terror in the Trenches Volume 2, and I want to play the... Do I want to play the trailer? I might get I might get an echo if I play the trailer. I'll just do it without the music played in the background here. Series to work on. Even though that word balloon, I didn't do that word balloon. I forgive him. Um, yes, there's no sound. Uh, so, Terror in the Trenches, one of my favorite books to work on. I'm really looking forward to working on Terror in the Trenches Volume 2, and 3 for that matter. Uh, I want to see this book reach new heights. I want to see it uh, climb the highest mountain, uh, reach for the eclipse, if you will. Looks like we're going to be seeing a lock shot squaring off against our boy, uh, Black Terror, as he deals with the demons of his past. Uh, and he won't survive the night. Well, there's the spoiler right there. I guess we know how it ends. So, uh, rest in peace, Black Terror. We hardly knew you. Uh, you wouldn't want to be us or whatever. I don't know. Clint and I together is sure to create an international link. He sent, he sent me candy, didn't he? I haven't done that yet. I haven't sent anybody candy. Oh, woe is me, I suppose. So, yeah. <clears throat> Streaming with a cold, not fun. Not fun at all. My throat. Going a little, uh, a little dry. Explore every valley, mountain, mount every hilltop. Never give up, never surrender. Your sound's going wonky. Is that the background noise you're hearing? That's the fan in my Cintiq. Whirring up and whirring down, as it likes to do for no reason whatsoever. I don't even know what. I'm not even going to get into it. Not even going to get into it. Um, let's see. I'm going to show off some artwork. I know I've showed this page on Twitter before, but I want to show it now. So let me share my... Uh, Make sure it loads right. Let me share my my screen on this account, on this accord, not this one. Heavens to Betsy, no. Heavens to Betsy, no, 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 no. Oh God, no. Like Michael Scott would say. Um, this is a fun page. Let me go here. I got to do the screen mirror and all that nonsense. 
Eric's MacBook Pro. Patrick Bowser, it's good to see you. 20 people here. Impressive. How many of those are on YouTube? How many of those are just scroll bys on Twitter? We'll never know. God's great mysteries. All right, share this thing right here. There it is. Grow the mullet back, and all your problems will vanish. It says Wordsmith Forge. We'll see. We'll see. I showed this off on Twitter a little while ago, but I'm really proud of this page. Um, this is uh, this is where I've been hiding. <laughs> is uh, putting this onto the onto the glass and drawing this is where i've been hiding when i'm not lettering i've been doing this so uh it's a page from battlebrook road 2 our our team um running into some trouble with a giant spider and uh having to deal with it so there it is there it is i really am happy with how this turned out you know i got 10 men throwing his axe here um Stuck in some spider eggs. And, uh, uh, yeah. Really, really happy with how this turned out. Been playing a lot with these uh, halftone dots. I found some cool brushes. If they print well, I hope they do. Um, I got to do some test prints of, of various things because I don't want the, uh, what's that called? The noir? Noir effect? Noir is not the right word. Um Whatever it is, it can cause the, like when you zoom out, I don't know if it'll show up here, but the, all the dots get, they print weird. They can print weird if it's not, if it's not done well. Um, so I, I'm going to do a lot of test prints of just the line art and make sure it, make sure it works. So uh, this is probably one of my favorite panels. I have a lot of favorite panels, but this one's up there. All of my panels are favorite panels. They're like my children, but this is my favorite of my favorite panels right now. Um, Scarecrow is a little bit hurt, and Thea is helping, kind of helping him up. I'm really happy with the acting that I put on this, on this panel right here, because he's, he's wounded, he's he's hurt, he's injured. What other synonyms can I use? I don't know, but he's that, and he's trying to get up. So he's putting, pushing his, you know, pushing down on on the, his rifle. Um, trying to to stand up, but he just doesn't have it in him. He's down for the count. It's like he got in the ring uh, with uh, Tyson for about 35 seconds. He just can't. Well, I don't want to say that, but he just is struggling, you know? Uh, Thea is helping Scarecrow after a bender. That's absolutely right. You know, in a Marvel comic, she would just, like, pick him up with both hands and throw him over her shoulder <laughs> And, and carry on. But that's not what we're doing here. She can't lift him. Uh, he's weight unknown, but she can't lift him. Um, she's a little girl. She's a, she's a, a small, tiny little woman. So she can only assist. You know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, I'm really excited with how this book is turning out. I'm going to hide this and see if there's another page I want to show. Let's see if there's another page. I wanna... I'm just feeling generous today. Just feeling generous today. So if you don't want any spoilers, you don't want to see any artwork, shield your eyes. I think I've shown this one. This is actually the previous page. I think I've shown this one um, before. Curls are weak. Just weaklings. Can't do anything. Always need help moving boxes and opening jars. Thank God for men. You know what I'm, you know what I'm saying? I have shown this before as well. I got a little bit of work to do because I realize I'm not telling it, the story well enough on panel one, but I just got to add some special effects. But uh, this is the, the preceding page to what we just saw. So, again, playing with those halftone brushes and trying to have my actors move in space and tell a good story. So I need to add more underneath the spider because she also, like, lands... And I need to put dust kicking up and things like that. So it, 
it makes sense other than it just kind of looks like they're just standing there. So I think I just uh, assumed it's gender, but yeah, it's a good time. Good time. Great oldie. That's what that is. Scarecrow. If you remember in the first book, Scarecrow was uh, not Scarecrow, excuse me. Toto in the first book was a little bit injured. So we're having to deal with the repercussions of that a tiny bit, but you know, this is fun to draw. That was really fun to draw. Gotta say, big fan of my own work. I'm my biggest fan. I really am. Take that, mom. <laughs> yeah, really happy with how this book's turning out. I want to show you so much more, uh, but you're just going to have to back the book and, and, and read it here, hopefully in just a few short months. Gosh, I want to get this done and out to you guys so bad. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have an, an arachnophobia warning for, for Chapter 2. I'm not going to warn you at all. It's just going to hit you right in the face. I hate spiders. I had to do a lot of research, looked a lot of spiders up close. Uh, photographs. I haven't uh, endangered myself. Um, so, yeah. It kind of creeps me out. Because I'm looking up, like, what are dead? How do their legs curl when they're when they're dead? How would they jump? How do they rear up to attack? You're looking at all these photos, all these different spiders, black widows and tarantulas and tunnel web spiders and all of that. All good stuff. Uh, Leroy says, "I backed. Show me more. Maybe I will." Uh, I have a brilliant idea, Eric. You should have oversized trading cards with character bios that state and stats on the back. Maybe have them written from the POV of an all-knowing AI. You know, the Watcher of the West is an all-knowing AI. Or is she all-knowing? She has... Uh... Oh, man. I need more tea. I need a lozenge. Um, she's not all-knowing. But... She has ways of getting information. I know that sounds weird, creepy, but it's true. What else can I show? Leroy wants more. Leroy's out for blood. It's out for blood. Here's a, I won't scroll down on this one, but this is the one I'm currently. I mean, that just, I'm just going to show you. Again, there's a whole saga with this spider. If you don't want to know how it, how it works, what happens? You don't want to, I mean, you're not going to, without the dialogue, is it really spoilers? Unless you see the page where I draw Scarecrow's head removed from his body, there's really no spoilers. Anyways, and this is the one I'm currently working on. It's our boy, our, our cowardly little boy right here. Right there. Living life. Hitting on chicks. Oh my goodness. Got to do one of these. One of these, even though technically this only counts when I get people backers, but I'm. Twenty something from Igor. Uh, my currency will one day be worth a lot. Save it. That's looking great. Let Oking forward to Battlebrook Road Two. Looking forward to Battlebrook Road Two. Thank you very much, Igor. Uh, it's good to see you, my friend. Uh, great. To, uh, I appreciate the twenty. Um, twenty R dollars. Because that's what it is. It's an R dollar. Lyle, lion man bun, you know, got to make man buns great again. Or if, for the first time, perhaps. Um, I aim to do it. I aim to do it. Panel layouts look great. Thank you, Leroy. I work hard on this book. Like I said uh, earlier, I was drawing today, and I got this the last panel on this specific page, and I once that's done, 
it's just filling in the blacks and and then this this page is done um i drew it and then i turned the page and i was like this storytelling doesn't make sense it doesn't make sense um so i had to redo it so that's what i'm working on right now it's almost done actually I just got to figure out what to do i got more pages i can show off you guys want to i got colored pages let me do that let me let me let me see where those are hiding um we have a new colorist on the team a new colorist that i wanted two years four it hasn't been four years it's been four years hasn't it mm, that one stings when i say it out loud um but the colorist for the first preview of Battlebrick road one uh not not the ash can but when we when we launched Battlebrick road one uh, we had a colorist and she did wonderful work and then she had a baby and couldn't finish it because she was on maternity leave being a brand new mom i was like that's cool we'll find somebody else and we did um but now she's back and the pages on the campaign are not her pages so she's putting in new pages and she's bringing some magic to the colors that need to be there because we're in oz and even though it's a dystopia it's still a magical world and we're going to live that magic together here when i show you these pages and make sure i have the right ones here because there are various um that's not it oh my goodness where did i put them this is the worst day of my life absolutely the worst day of my life i can't believe you guys are letting me do this right in front of you just failing right in front of you publicly it's really embarrassing um i really don't know where those pages are there's anyways her name is Farah normaliza 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 and she's back coloring battle brick road uh too and i must have put those colors in the main folder um so i'm gonna look there if they're not there then they're in my email and that's that's even worse i'm never gonna find them if they're in my email battle brick road two going through my files here final colors no they're not there i know where i can find them because i shared them to the uh I shared them to the um, uh, the CG team bros room. So let me, let me let me pull that up. Let me dox you guys real quick. Spill our DM room. All right, here we go. There's here's one of them. Open that in a new tab. Slide that over here. Oh my gosh, every day is a nightmare. Where's my mouse? All right. Copy image. Open a new tab. There we go. That'll be what I need. Ba -ba bam And crisis averted. I'm not sharing that anyways. So let me... Uh, let me do this. Screen window. This one. Share. Yes. There we go. This... Is that these are the new colors coming in from Farah? And my goodness, I am in love with these pages. Uh, Caffeinated Wolf, hail. Uh, good to see you, my friend. Uh, girls, weak arms, and strong pelvi. Pelvi? Is that the plural? I've never had more than one at a time. Uh, it's okay. You can make it up to us by showing new Battlebrook Road 2 pages. I, you just missed them. Uh, you just missed him. So, uh, sorry, but that time's over. Worse than the day Bancroft blacklisted you and the chat and had to riot to get back to lettering the Lucent. Then the chat had to riot to get you back to lettering. I have to thank the chat for keeping food on the table for me because without you, I, um, I would have, Bancroft would, Bancroft would have left me destitute with holes in my pockets. I couldn't even, if even if I found a nickel on the ground, put them in my pocket, it'd slide right out of the hole in my pocket back onto the ground, and I wouldn't have noticed. I would have whistled happily with that nickel, thinking it was in my pocket, but it was rolling back around on the ground again, rolling there just 
and I can't hear it because it rolled out of my left pocket and I'm deaf in my left ear. So when I hit the ground, I wouldn't have known. I didn't know. But you guys, you chat, you saved me. You made life better. So thank you for that. <clears throat> Nothing matters anymore. It's all done. Worst day ever. It really is the worst day ever. <laughs> Maybe ask your letterer for the files. My goodness. The nerve of some people. Joe cares about Eric's family. So I can thank Joe, Mr. Fulton himself. Everybody, hashtag thank you, Joe, for saving Eric's family. I mean, just look at these colors. This is exactly what I want in life. This is exactly what I want to have my book look like. She nailed it. I would get a little louder and make uh, guttural noises, but right now that would might destroy me. It might destroy my throat, and I don't want to do. I don't want to do that. Farah is so good, and she's leveling up just for me, because I showed her the style that I want. I said, um, "When I'm drawing Battlebrook Road, I have a certain number of books open in front of me, and they're all colored by the same guy." Uh, I'm looking at. Stuart Eminen's work. I'm looking at Pepe Larraz. I'm looking at their work. And both of the stuff I'm doing, there's another guy, Giovanna something or other, is currently working with uh, Pepe Larraz on, he did big game. But Marte Garcia is the colorist that was sort of, as I'm working, I'm looking at that inspiration and all that. And so those colors have like seeped into my brain. And when she, she turned in some other pages and, and they were good. They were great, actually. But I was like, I want to work. Can we do it a little bit like this? So foreground characters are going to be washed out. Like in this case, they're sort of washed to the red because they're not important. Things like that. And bringing overall sort of cohesion to the uh, to the pages. So there's a theme when you're looking at it. it, it, it I want it to, to, to feel otherworldly. I want it to feel like Oz should feel. And honestly, if she can knock this out, knock this out of the park, I'm gonna have her redo the first book when we do our re-release uh, for the for the main the main shindig. Don't tell anybody I told you that. You know that's between you and me. <clears throat> Phone says you won't find these colors in a liberal comic. I don't know if my comic book has a political lining. If it does, call your congressman. Uh, logic, excuse me, my throat is so dry right now. I'm gonna have to wrap this up soon. Logic's finest. Eric, do comic artists all draw digitally now? It seems as if artists don't draw in pencil anymore. Just curious because I'm a fan of since the 70s and grew up uh, on the look on paper. Thanks. Uh, a lot of us do, but there are plenty out there who still draw on paper. I did up until a couple of years ago. Um, I can't do what I want to do on paper, so I do it digitally. Um, and people say, oh, you've got money waiting just sitting there on the original pages. And mine don't sell for that much. I have 200 bucks, 500 bucks maybe for a cover. That's great. And if the, if the comic book blows up and I sold all my pages, when they sell again, it's, I don't get any of that. But I'm gonna get money for the books I sell, so I'm not. I, I feel kind of weird about original art in that way because, you know, I could sell a page for five hundred bucks. I sell Battlebrick Road. Let's say I sell. I do have in hand in in. I did physically draw on paper. Uh, Scarecrow's first arrival. His that is real. That's from that's from Battlebrick Road one. I drew that in pen and ink. Let's say I sell that for $500. Say I sell it for uh, $1,500. Um, and then let's hypothesize that Battlebrook Road gets a TV series. And it's made well. It's made very well. You know, Let's hypothesize that Battlebrook Road gets a video game or a movie. And it's just out in the world. And oh my goodness, did you know this was a comic book? And people start buying the comic book again and... And then suddenly all the original art value goes up. But I already sold that page for $1,500. Somebody else can now sell it 
the five, six, seven thousand dollars. Good for them, I guess. But you know what I'm saying? Uh, I spent a lot of years drawing original art on paper and none of it sold. So very, very, very little of it sold. So, you know, I'll do commissions, I'll do sketches, I'll do that. And that's fine. I do that on paper. Unless they don't need it on paper. Uh, Leroy says, I have an original Scarecrow. That's true, you do. You did a commission on the first campaign. I think you were the only one, you were the only one to grab one. I don't have commissions on this one. I do have uh, um, I do have uh, sketches you can add, but I don't have commission commissions. So, oh, wait, wait, wait. Um, I'll bring it back. No, I won't. <clears throat> Uh, Eric, I've seen uh, the things artists can do drawing digitally, so I understand the uses of usage of the technology. Yeah, I think it's easy. It's not, I won't say it's it's not any easier for me to draw. I don't, everybody says I draw so much faster. I don't draw faster digitally. I I I'm painstaking. I probably draw faster traditionally because once the mistake is there, it's there. <laughs> so I'm not going over the line seven times. Uh, yeah, your commission rate is reasonable. Thank you. No, that means I need to make it even higher. Igor says, I ink slower digitally. Mit Mitographia, Mr. Kenneth Roquefort, I believe, is his name. I'm not entirely sure about that. I have an original Scarecrow, too, Leroy. Mr. Mitographia, if that is your real name, you don't need to brag that you have an original Kenneth Roquefort cover piece you don't need to brag and certainly don't need to, to brag that i uh wanted to buy it and you turn me down i mean you don't need we don't even need to go there i don't know if anybody needs to bring that up i don't know why anybody would and leave right i got dibs bro i got dibs i actually sent out a uh a um a, 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 Battlebrook Road Cover B book uh, today. Somebody somebody backed it last night. Where do I share my screen again? I'm going to do this real quick. For those of you who maybe haven't read Battlebrook Road and you want to jump in and you want to read the book right now, um, scroll down to Shop Now, this section right here. If you order these things separately, they will be shipped the next day, next business day or two, you know. I'm a busy guy. Sometimes I don't get out to the, get out to the, whatnot. This is this is the uh, the cover that uh, Kenneth Rogerfort has an original of. It is not ding and dan. His is probably in pristine condition in some uh, portfolio binder somewhere, uh, glowing. Um, probably keeps him up at night. All the energy in those pages. You know, I've heard I'm I'm a six out of ten on the Rogerfort scale. I've heard that. People have told me that. I wouldn't say that myself, but people tell me that I'm a six out of 10. You know what? And I was brave enough to put my artwork right next to yours in the book. So, you know, I'm the hero here is what I'm trying to say. I'm the hero. Such a great cover. It says Clutch Boogie. Awesome one. Pave the road, people. Uh, DJ Chi says, you've inspired me to take on lettering. Excellent. I got to make those videos. I'm trying to teach it. I'm trying to teach the craft, the art to people. But I got to draw my book and then letter everybody else's. So I do want to I do want to get to that point in my life where I'm finally sitting down. And I, do, I do like one every other six months, which I think is once a year, but I'm not entirely sure. Uh, it should be in a museum in the Roquefort vault. It's a great cover. And I'm just going to assume you guys are talking about me. I'm just going to, you know, you're just talking about me on my cover right here. That's what you're talking about. And I thank you for that. Will Flying Fortress ever be reprint, reprinted to Son of Liberty Radio? Son of Liberty Radio. I hope so. I want to get that book out to people again in some form i do have a small handful i mean like five maybe six of that remaster printing i've thought about 
putting them up for sale or doing them somehow. Selling literally, I want to sell maybe one or two of those. So, um, but as far as reprints go, I've got to talk it over with the co creator. And right now he works at a company that has a no non-compete thing and lawyers want to get involved and I don't want to deal with it. So get your, get your grubby mitts off my flying fortress. Speaking of flying fortress, I just finished, um, uh, the mighty, oh my gosh, what's it called? The mighty eighth, um, masters of the air. Just finished that really enjoyed it. It went really fast. I felt like, I didn't really get to know the characters well. Of course, I was drawing, too, so that might be part of it. See you later, Mo. I'm somebody's hero. I'm, I'm happy about that. Um, yeah, that would have been cool to have that resource available when I was drawing the book, uh, Flying Fortress. I thought about doing some one-off pieces here and there. Like, I guess not fan art because it's my own book, but uh, doing artwork for it, just like my own sketches or, or illustrations to kind of play with those characters again, live in that world again, because that's where I learned how to make comics. It'd be fun to, to, to do that. Um, sequel, sequel scripts have been written, but I don't know. My main focus is Battle Brick Road. I'm going to get this out, get this done before I die, which isn't to say I'm going to die soon. It just means it, it takes so long to draw. I'm the, I'm the slow wheel in this can you have a slow link in a chain because if you can that's me i'm the big cog in the in the clock not the tiny one that spins fast i'm the big one big one all right my throat is killing me uh i want to encourage everybody here to back battle brick road 2 again um and the best way to do that is go to battlebrickroad.com uh also i want to point this out we have a few extra stuff that I've added to the campaign. One, that four by six character sketch. Well, I'll, I'll do any character you want from the campaign. You actually, when you click on it, you can check. There's a little drop down box, um, or a little down here. You can pick which character you want me to draw. So, um, I think I've sold one of Thea and Total One of Scarecrow, and that's it so far. So, you can add that. And if you have already backed. The book, you can uh, uh, type in free shipping at checkout, and it'll be added to your order. No additional shipping charge. Of course, we have the record, the seven-inch record, um, which uh, should be going to press this week, hopefully. Well, I guess it's Wednesday already. i got to finish designing the the, um, the label that goes on that thing. It's not going to look like that. Um, and then I'm going to get a different quote from a different press and see if they can – get me a better price. Um, but you can listen to that here if you click on, you know, if you click on the record, you can scroll down and you can listen to the two the two tracks that, are, that come with this. Two songs, one on each side, about four and a half minutes a piece. Um, it's a good, a good thing to spin on your turntable. The 11 by 17 print poster book, the Battle Brick Road uh, poster collection, the print collection, 10 removable prints from Comicsgate uh, creators all around the globe, I assume. Um, you know, Rod, he doesn't live in America. Jose, he doesn't live in America. Kels, um, Shelby Robertson, he does live in America. So automatically, he's better than these two, but we're not going to hold that against them. Um, now, we've got a lot of pieces of artwork coming in. Uh, I've got a piece from Narwhal. Which actually, all I've seen is a little doodle, but it looks really cool. Uh, and when Irene is not busy, which is probably never, I've got a piece from her. And uh, I've got a few more. Dan Lawless doing a piece and. I have a whole list of uh, people that I, I'm always struggling to remember who's on that list. But uh, get that one as well. Uh, and then, you know, if you just have a friend, you know you want to get them some Battle Brick Road, but you don't know what they want, you just get the Battle Brick Road gift card, and it works on this website. They'll be able to use that code at checkout, and whatever, whatever you purchase, you'll be able to uh, add that. Um, gives you a little discount coding added to your order or your friend's order or what have you. Uh, Masters of the Air was good. I'd love to see that same genre just uh, in a naval setting. Huge World War II naval fan. Hopefully reverse to some World War II stories. That would be really cool. In the rear with the gear. 
Uh, all right. I am going to have to end it right there before my throat can entirely uh, implodes upon itself. I want to thank you all for hanging out with me um, for this stream. I'm going to not even tell you when I'll be back because I have no idea. It could be later tonight. It could be tomorrow. It could be another year from now because that's how consistent I am with streaming. But you guys showed up, and that's all that matters. Um, thanks for hanging out and enjoying this uh, this time together as we fellowship around Battlebrick Road and all things comics. Uh, again, Jaegerbaum closing in on uh, the, the uh, $5,000 goal. Um, Downcast 4 apparently will be hanging out with Mike tomorrow, I guess, um, without me, which is unfortunate. And uh, my boy Vaughn's Terror in the Trenches Volume 2, Campaigns Are Live. I'm sorry. Those campaigns are live, and this one, the, the sign-up is live. So uh, get in where you fit in. Uh, is that it? That's it. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for the super chats. And go over to Mike's just to chill flatting stream. Go do that. Go hang out. We need more vinyl and CG. We'll make it happen. Make it happen. All right. Thanks, everybody. Catch you on the flip side. Bye-bye. <laughs>